So today uh, I went and skied uh, a line off the north face of the Guida Midi with a good friend of mine, Nate Wallace. He's been skiing around with the Oakley boys, mostly doing a documentary for Seth Morrison and, and his friends. Um, we've been talking for the last couple of years about trying to get me involved in the program, the, the I guess the, uh, the movie, and just trying to, if it would work out, go do something with them sometime. Last year I helped them out, mostly just with a little bit of beta and, and carrying heavy gears around the tripod and whatnot. But um, I talked to Nate yesterday, I said, you know, it's my last day of skiing in Chamonix this year, I'd love to go ski something off the North Face with you interested. And I came together, but we changed a little bit. We decided to go ahead and bring Seth Morrison and uh, a few cameramen today. Um, so that's what we did. We went and skied the Col de Plan. It's kind of a, it's on the north face of the Guida It's one of the smaller lines. And um, Seth, Nate, and I skied it. We had a few people filming it. And, um, yeah, it was a good way to finish the season. I had never really skied a full day with Seth, a little bit around with him before, and uh, it's been a haven't really skied much with Nate this year, so it was a really nice way to fin finish my Chamonix season. So uh, we're going to go to the here and take a look at the north face of the Cold Clock. We'll see. It hasn't been looking super good this year, but my last day to ski, so we're going to give it a try. I'm going to the top, man. You're going to the top. I'm going to the top. Wow. All good? So far, so good. Are you right, guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Seth? Just nervous, that's all. I've been chasing shadows for so many years. I'm still wondering where are you? Where are you? I looked under my bed and in my closet twice, but I can't find it. Where are you? I say, Where are you? Taking a walk to get some fresh air to my lungs, and I miss the way. Down. <laughs> so should we go for a second lap? Go ahead, I'll see you down here. <laughs> that was alright. That's right. Yeah, it was good fun. <clears throat> Not the best conditions, but we found some good conditions and yeah, I didn't see him come out. I got one in before I had yeah. well, nice. we were scratching for it. Good day today, Bjarne. Mm-hmm. A little chilly, but Good. Beers, celebratory beers. Finally got a run down the North Face. Two years in the making for that run. It's good stuff, man.
But the next best thing to being able to ski or run down the North Face is to maybe hang out and watch somebody else ski down the North Face. <laughs> well, safe. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I've, it's got to be the rush of a lifetime, but, you know, to be able to come here and film other people doing it and live vicariously through other people, it's still pretty cool. Not everybody can be the star of the movie. The next best thing to being the star of the movie is being the person making the movie, I think. So, I'll settle for second. <laughs> As far as my skiing, I don't know, I love it. I haven't gotten bored with it. Uh, yeah, got a pretty understanding wife, supports me in what I'm doing, so yeah, for the near future at least, I'll keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully keep being able to ski great lines with good people.